John That's King. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's here for Style Saturday. Of course, you bring us wonderful tips every single Saturday. This morning, Thank we're you. talking about how to properly use a flat iron and making sure it's not too hot so it doesn't burn your hair. That's right. I think all of us have done that at some point. I used to, well, I, I won't tell you. Never mind. Well, some of the most <laughs> damage that I see that come into the salon has been done with a flat iron. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why, number one, is that they don't use a thermal treatment. Something that you can use or you can spray on, and I actually picked this up at a local CVS or drugstore, and you can spray it onto the hair first, blow it out some, and then start to work with your iron. Okay. And, one of the, and another thing, too, is you need an iron that has a temperature gauge. Right. It's very, very important. And, you know, it, it, irons are so advanced now. We have tourmaline. We have uh, titanium, those type of things. It's not just the metal plates or ceramic, mm -hmm. okay? So what you want to do is put your thermal treatment in, go in, and just keep it simple for yourself. It's just like you don't, I don't even need clips, and it's the same way at home. Just take a uh, section just like this. Make sure your t temperature gauge, this is one of the big mistakes that I see in a salon a lot of times, is that they don't look at their gauge first. Look at it, make sure it's about 3 to 350. Go across it one time and you're done. Now does it depend on the texture of your hair or the thickness or thinness of your hair to determine the temperature? It, it does and actually she has a medium thickness to her hair mm -hmm. and texture so I usually use around 350. Anytime that it's sensitive hair which is finer textured hair or highlighted hair or blonde hair you want to use around 300. Anything that's coarse, you want to go on up to about four to four fifty. Yeah, okay. that's me. I have to use the hottest setting. I have very thick but, hair. <laughs> but I see so many people. They'll take a section and they're doing this, and they're going over it and over it and over it. And what happens is that you actually burn the cuticle off of your hair, and then you ended up with just almost like threads. It's it's just mm. really dry, and you get a lot of um, split ends. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this this morning, because I see so much damage that comes into the salon. Mm -hmm. Also, I found a straightener here for like around 17 bucks compared to 225. What's the difference between the two besides the price obviously? The difference is is that this is one that can help get you through and it is has a ceramic plate which that's what we kind of started out with that was the new uh, thing after the uh, metal plates. This one here has a titanium which is worth the investment and you'll have it for a very long time. There's one more point that I want to make. At home when you leave your flat iron on, now the technology has to where it turns it off permanently mm -hmm. if you leave it on too long. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, you take a chance of burning something in your house and you don't want to do that. No. So, you know, like I said, you just want to take small sections. The key is taking thin sections and just make sure that you go over it one time. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being here. Always, you're so helpful you. every weekend. We appreciate that. Thank you for being our model today. And remember, you can always go to Now Austin. That's right. And uh, if you need more, if you missed part of this segment, you can go to our website later on today, kxan.com, for tips on how to properly use a flat iron. Coming up on Austin News.